It's Lil Pass 57, man. Y'all ready? Yo, it's the end of the week. I'm here to wrap it up right. Talking about game and sports and maybe life. I ain't decide yet, so tune in to the show. Guess the parents is I I don't really know. I'm the Paris. I'm here to do it my way. Click, clack, bang on any troll, so don't press play. A new series. I'm wrapping up the week. So comment on the subjects being given. I don't speak. Yo, what's good, people? I'm your boy, Authentic 973 I'm your boy, LaPaz57, and I'm back with another episode of the Weekly Wrap-Up. Got some my part gameplay, running with the usual suspect, my man K Spade, the prospect out here catching that alley. Y'all already know, got, got a lot of sport news to talk about, got some gaming news I want to share with you guys. So as usual, first off, let me start off by saying Happy Easter to you guys. Hope you guys had happy hunting, hunting for them eggs. You know what I mean? So let me start off by saying that. But as usual, sit back, relax, put your seat, and recline. Let's get into the wrap up. For starters, I want to say congratulations to the homie LeBron James. He passed Patrick Ewing for 20th on the all time NBA scoring list. So he is climbing. He is climbing that list at a rapid, you know, at a rapid pace, man. So. I think probably LeBron probably going to end up as a top 10 scorer in the NBA. I want to know what you guys think in the comment section below. Let me know. But I think LeBron will probably end up as a top 10 scorer. I think Kobe might be Kobe might be third, I think. I think uh, Kobe might be third. Kareem is first. And Karl Malone is second. Am I correct? I know somebody's going to correct me in the comment section. But I think that's how the list is right now. I, I think that's how the list stands right now. Kareem is first. Carl Malone is second, and if I'm correct, Kobe is third. I know somebody's going to correct me, though. But moving on, let's get into some NFL news. Deshaun Golston was traded from the Buccaneers to the Redskins. The trade saved the Bucs $4 million in cap space. Maybe they trying to free up space to get another wide receiver because we all, we all speculate that uh, they will be drafting Jameis Winston, we think. You know what I mean? Maybe they're trying to free up to get another receiver, get Jameis some weapons over there, but it seems like the Bucks are trying to free up some bread. So we got to see what they're going to do with that $4 million. Also, Darren McFadden came out this week and said the world hasn't seen the best of him. I hope so, because now you play for the Cowboys, and we got an amazing offensive line, and I hope that we haven't seen the best of Darren McFadden, because Darren McFadden and the Raiders, he didn't play. He wasn't terrible. He got injured a lot. You know what I mean? Hopefully he can stay healthy and we can see Darren McFadden be a factor for the Cowboys this upcoming season. Also, moving on, Michael Strahan came out this week and said some things that I want to know if you guys agree with or disagree with. Michael Strahan came out and said that Odell Beckham Jr., that's right, the wide receiver that we all love, Mr. One Hand Grab himself, Mr. Two Finger Grab, rather, himself came, you know, he said that Odell Beckham is the greatest athlete on earth. Now, come on, Michael Strand. Like, I love Odell Beckham, too. But the, to say Odell Beckham was the greatest athlete on earth, to say he's the greatest athlete on earth, man, that's saying a lot. I mean, he makes some amazing catches. I don't know. And, you know, this all came about because Odell Beckham made that three-finger, two-finger catch. He's down at Duke Duncan. Like, Odell Beckham can dunk a ball. He's on Instagram. Show, you know, he's dunking on Instagram, tweeting his homie LeBron and all type of stuff. He said that Odell Beckham is the greatest athlete on earth. I want to know if you guys agree with that. Me, I don't think so. I love Odell Beckham, but I just don't think he's the greatest athlete on earth. I mean, some of the people that do them, them um, Ironman competitions and those, those um, what do you call them joints, them, them, them triathlons and triathletes and decathlons and all that crap they be doing i mean some of those guys are amazing athletes they just don't get the recognition like a football player or a basketball player but those guys are amazing athletes check those guys out man you know what i mean a lot of those guys go put their body through some rigorous stuff and i mean they still they still do get it done they get it done but ncaa let's go over there let's talk some ncaa we're going to talk about Duke, they beat Michigan State University to move on to the championship. Wisconsin, I don't want to know if I if I would call it a shocker. I guess you could call it an upset. They beat undefeated Kentucky to advance to the national championship where they will play Duke. Now, I don't know if I said this on SAS or if I said this on the weekly wrap-up, but 
I said if any team could beat Kentucky, it would be Wisconsin because Wisconsin can shoot the lights out. And that's what happened. Wisconsin shot 7 of, seven of 17 from 3, and UK shot 3 of 5 from 3, and that's the game, folks. Like, they... They played a, a great game. I would have liked to see Kentucky go undefeated, but I said, I said, if anybody can beat Kentucky, it would be Wisconsin. I said that. I called that, so kudos to me. Let's get into some gaming news before the video end. The Witcher 3 is stated to take 200 hours to beat. A game that takes 200 hours to beat. I haven't played any of the Witches before, and with next gen, I think I might, I may cop the Witcher, man. I may, I may get that. Xbox One's Quantum Break is delayed. Another game that we all was looking forward to is delayed again. I mean, these delays got to stop. I mean, Batman. I mean, the list goes on and on. A lot of these games are delayed. What is going on, y'all? Yeah? Man, if The Witcher gets delayed. <laughs> but moving on, the new release this week is Dark Souls 2, The Scholar of the First Sin. If you play Dark Souls on last gen you don't need to get this one it's pretty much the game again it's a rehash so this has been the weekly wrap up on your boy authentic 973 i'm your boy the past 57 comment like subscribe i appreciate all y'all y'all know how in my shit